Hello, beautiful scent. What fine aroma be thee that awakens me from my slumber? <laughs> of course! How could I forget about Albert's Cake Shop? I'm sure old Bertie's got some cake he's willing to spot me. Swinestein, old buddy, old pal. Lovely weather we're having, eh? Perfect weather for a cupcake or a pastry. Boy, I sure would love to have a slice of heaven. Stop, Betsy! What's going on in here? Sorry, Wally. I'm in some real deep baloney right now. But what happened? It's a madhouse in here. I made a special celebration cake for Christopher Owl's Christmas party. But somebody broke in and stole it last night. I got a rush to make him a new one, but the batter keeps splatting. The oven is on fire. All my machinery is buzzing and all the dogs are hungry. Say, Bertie, why don't I track down the thieving son of a gun that stole it? I've got a real sniffer for sniffing out crooks. Aw, oh, gosh, Wally, you do that to help poor little me out. Of course, Al. This looks like a job for <laughs> Detective Wally Rabbit. You just put detective in front of your name. You don't even have a costume or anything. Worry not, fair citizen. I shall return your lost goods with great haste. <laughs> oh, gee whiz, I'm screwed. Huh. Now the first step in any good detective's case is to look for clues. Hey, you two! You thought I wouldn't notice? You two just crossed the street and didn't even look. Could have gotten hit by a car. Ah, Wally, you've done it again. What was it that Dad always said about me being such a great detective? Son, you're a disappointment to this family. <coughs> oh gosh, I really messed up big time. How did I let them slip through my buttery fingers? Okay, Wally, calm down. Detectives don't beat themselves up. It's time to look for clues. Aha! Hmm. A trail of breadcrumbs, eh? Sounds like something a miscreant would leave behind. I'd better pursue this. Ouch! Huh. The crumbs stop here. Well, I better go in. Hello, Dr. Porcupine. Yes, I'll need to schedule two. Uh, better make it three. Three sessions next week. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, bye bye now. Hmm. These breadcrumbs just keep going forever. Whoever these miscreants are, they're willing to lug that cake around. They must be pretty determined. Oh, that's not good. Hey there, bud. That's a mighty fine cake you've got there. What's the price on that butte? 250 coins. What? That's outrageous! Ah, fine, whatever. Gee. 
Jiminy Chrysalis! I gotta get this cake to Christopher's Christmas party before it's too late! Ah, come on, turn green! Hey, watch where you're driving, moron! No! My cake. My ceiling. Wally, I cannot thank you enough for getting this cake to me. Albert told me about his little conundrum and I was so worried that I wouldn't have a cake for my party tomorrow night. Wait, the party is tomorrow night? Meaning that Albert could have just made a new one? Well, of course, silly. I told Albert I needed it by tomorrow. But he gets all huffy and puffy and turns into a worry wart when bad things happen. And I thought he'd not be able to get the cake done, but he said you'd take care of it. <sighs> well, that's just a slice of life for old Wally Rabbit, I suppose. <laughs>